Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for Elden Ring. And today, I want to show you a fantastic Ash of War that you definitely want to make sure you pick up. In fact, you've probably walked past it many a time because, of course, it comes from an invisible treasure dung beetle. But that Ash of War is the Flame of the Red Mains. This thing is basically Horfrost Stomp 2.0. You guys remember Horfrost Stomp, the move that a lot of people used to basically make a mockery of many bosses. And then patch 1.03 came around and they were like, no. Horfrost Stomp, you have had your days. Well, enter Flame of the Red Mains. This is described as an Ash of War that grants an armament, the fire affinity, and the skill of the Red Mains, who fought alongside General Radan. It allows you to produce a powerful burst of flames in a wide frontal arc. And you might look at this initially and think, ah, you know, the damage is all right. But in a very similar manner to Horfrost Stomp, this has incredible posture damage. So when used correctly, this will basically consistently down enemies, bosses, all that stuff. So you can then go in for the powerful repost attack. So if you guys don't know how to get this one and take a look at this in action, then let's get started. Of course, if you do find this helpful, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions. Let me know if you guys are going to try this out or have been using this. And of course, keep it locked for plenty more Elden Ring. So to begin with, if you want to get this one, again, as mentioned, it comes from one of the invisible treasure dung beetles. You want to make your way over to this location you see on the map right now between Limgrave and Kaelid. This is the Fort Gale North Site of Grace. This, of course, is just north of, surprise, surprise, Fort Gale. If you don't have the Site of Grace, you can then just simply go from one of the ones north and you can work your way down. Then from the Site of Grace, we do have a rather long journey. We are simply going to go here. Of course, if you then take a look at this, you will see the invisible sort of like silver sparkles moving across the ground. If you guys have not encountered one of these before, these are basically invisible treasure dung beetles, treasure scarabs, and you effectively need to just position yourself in their track. And then of course, slash with your weapon as they approach to basically sort of anticipate their track and doing so will destroy it. And much like all the other ones, you will then be awarded with the Ash of War. When it comes to applying this, this can of course be used on all melee armaments. So of course, provided you have a weapon that can have Ash of War applied, you can put this on whatever you please. I have temporarily thrown this on my Uchi Katana just because it is of course my upgraded weapon that I have handy. So I threw it on there for the time being, you know, might throw it on other swords, other things like that if I wanted to. But this is of course a very flexible Ash of War. When you do apply it, it can of course also put the fire affinity on your weapon if you so wish. That's not necessarily something that I am pursuing on this weapon of course. And this one is, uh, you know, my current build is very dex focused so of course i just chose an affinity that allowed me to get the most out of my weapon because honestly you're not necessarily using this for the fire in and of itself not to say you can't i mean of course you can definitely uh, take advantage of that but really even if you're not specced specifically with that in mind the main focus here is simply using the ash of war Normally, two times consecutively will be enough to break posture on most enemies, most bosses, and bring them crashing to their knees or down to the ground, depending, of course, whether they have knees in the conventional sense. You get the point. The main thing is, if you use Horfrost Stomp, you can use this in a very similar manner. It has quite a wide arc, so, of course, you do actually have quite a generous distance. You can use this in front of the enemy, and, of course, you can then catch them. And then, following that, you then simply walk up, stab them, take advantage of the damage, and repeat the cycle. As you can see here, making light work of many different encounters. This is a fun move to use, a powerful move to use. So if you're looking for something post Horfrost Stomp nerf, post 1.03 patch, consider giving this a try. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. If you guys have any more questions, by means let me know in the comments down below. And be sure to check out this video if you haven't caught our recent uploads and keep it locked for plenty more Elden Ring.